Yes, brothers and sisters. Well, it looks like I've brought the weather home with us because it's red hot. Just watched uh, Terry Brazier on the Fuse UK channel on YouTube. Right, when I was in the airport yesterday in the departure lounge, I was flicking on my phone as you do and I seen something on Terry's story and it was a call out by no other than Tony. Tony! Talks a lot of pony. Not seen for miles. Got piles, Giles. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know who Tony Giles is, some sausage from down south. I was meant to fight him at Wembley and he just didn't answer the phone to the promotion for a month. Vanished like a fart in the wind. And then I tried to get him for my second fight. Guess what? <laughs> the same thing happened. And then a day before I was fighting a last minute replacement, he makes a call out, calling me out the day before we could have fought so that's Tony Giles I really hope that the BKFC make the fight between him and Teddy Brazier if it does happen I'll put three large on Brazier but I'm skeptical I really don't think it'll happen one because Tony has no credibility with the BKFC. He's pulled out twice and you know, just known as a time waster. I mean, my days of having straighteners are gone. But Tony got under my skin when he made that video. So I got in touch with some traveling lads that I know from Oxford and got them to get in touch with Tony's people who apparently are good people and asked them to sort a straightener between me and him on the Oxford site and the word came back his people weren't going to let him fight me because he was poorly he was in a bad place he was flat out on the packet and I think the main underlying issue was the condition that I would have left him in if me and him had met down there so you know he's not a man to be taken seriously it was funny watching his call out Tony you're gonna give yourself a hernia going on like that don't for a minute be fooled anybody by this Dosser's padded cushioned record that was accumulated on his mates promotions cherry pick and divvies he only fought one good fighter in Alex Reed, and he got knocked all over the place. Terry Brazier minces him for one Tony, doesn't have the dog in him, and he doesn't hit hard enough to cause Terry any problems. So, probably best if Tony just slides back under the rock that he's been hiding under and stops making these ridiculous call outs I know the travelling community uh, you know they're big on these call outs and they're big on straighteners but you know Tony Giles does nothing to nobody really in the BKFC and while we're on it Tony stop using your kids in your videos I swear on my kids Anybody with my name in their mouth, yeah? Shut up, Tony. What's it got to do with your kids? For one, it doesn't make people believe what you're saying when you swear on your children. It just makes people think, what a sausage. And that's me just telling it how it is, you know? I, not my intention to offend 
Mr. Piles. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I have to tell you how it is. He's got no balls. And he'll do nothing to nobody in the BKFC. I would like to see the fight because I'd be behind Terry Brazier all the way. But in my opinion, the chances of it happening are slim to none. Anyways, I'm off to the garage for some vapes. I was back in the gym this morning, doing bits. Because I'm 92 kilo of gato. And uh, it's time to start shaping up. Had a little workout, few like weights, circuits, and I've done weather all steps with Alice. And I feel great. I've started this intermittent fasting. Last, last meal at eight o'clock at night, and not eating again till 12. First day of it today. I'm gonna to do it for two weeks and see how I feel. Anyway, people, God bless you all. Bye-bye for now.